I've used the preseason um, to prepare our guys mentally, just kind of getting ahead of what they may go through during the season, the ups and downs of it, because you know, I played not too long ago in my, in my terms, so I understand what they could be facing, and especially the challenges of uh, comparison with social media and the you know, kind of stress that those things can put on today's student athletes. So just getting ahead of it and what they may go through and letting them know that it's okay. My players are just like my sons as well, and I, and I always care, care about those guys and talk to the guys about how they're doing, not as a basketball player or student athletes, but most importantly as a person. And I think mental health is one of the biggest things that we can tackle as basketball coaches and administrators around the country because um, our players have to be well mentally, emotionally, and spiritually in order to give us what we want to, to get, get from them in the classroom on the basketball court. So mental health, is one of those things that I, uh, I hold uh, at a high esteem. We do a thing on Sunday nights that we call core value meetings, and it's just really to talk to them and grow them outside of basketball. And so we try to really get personal with each other and open up, and we call it unlocking doors with one another, just to let them know they can be vulnerable um, and, and to just grow confidence in being who they are outside of basketball within our program. Well, I think your mindset is so important. You know both as an athlete but but just going through life and, and we're always talking about training our minds and we talk a lot about the four to one ratio of the mental to the physical that you know it's four times more important uh, mental you know the mental parts four times more important than the physical uh, in terms of being a good player but I believe that in, in, in life as well. Guys, you know, definitely someone that I lean on a lot. I've been leaning on a lot more lately. But I also pour a lot into my teammates. You know, how can I, how can I help them? Even if I'm feeling down, just, you know, loving them, caring for them is something that I, I like doing a lot. So I try to put an emphasis on that every day. The person I can rely on to pick me up is my mom. Uh, growing up, she always been my rock. She always been there, been there for me, uh, whether it's good or bad. She always told me the things that I didn't want to hear, but I needed to hear when I was younger. So I say my mom. My mother, because she's very calm-headed like me, so if I get out of whack and she's in and she's in good spirits, I know that she'll be able to help me. My person would have to be my sister. Um, even though people think we don't, we bump heads a lot. Uh, probably my mom. My mom is the person that I call when I'm down, and just her talking to me could bring me back up, and I can feel so much better.